Now last but certainly not least is my fire pack giveaway. This was recommended by Chris Acone. He said something to do with fire when I asked what I should give away and I took it a little over the top with that. <laughs> that left me way too much room to think. So included in the fire pack is a pack of Bic lighters because we all need a lighter on trail, especially if we have a stove to cook on. A pack of funky colored flames, which you just throw it in your, in your fire and it kind of makes the flames cool colors. It's interesting, kids like it. This is an SOL pack. It's called All Weather Fire Cubes. They also have a uh, fire light in there that sparks a fire. It's not like a lighter, it just creates a spark. Um, people say that's not such a good thing, but these little cubes are awesome. They light super easy. Some people cut them in half and use more than once. Uh, but each cube has approximately 10 to 12 minutes of burn time. So you know and they light if they're soaking wet or anything they're really great and they're individually wrapped in there so you can take just one or two along if you want to super cool i also got a pack of this for myself to carry along and it's lightweight the wrapping the individual wrapping on them is also waterproof so you can just throw them in your pocket and even if you get soaking wet they're still great I got a magnesium bar with striker at Walmart because I was looking for a flint and steel like similar to the one that I carry and everybody was sold out of them so I just went ahead and grabbed a magnesium bar with a striker to throw in there because it's just a fun thing to play around with and my favorite is the Piscook fire bellows. This is a pack of two. It has a carabiner on it so that you can carry them on your backpack if you want. And I personally own this set. You only really need one, but they have the small and medium size in there so that you can pick and choose which one you want to use. And I'll crack mine open. I don't want to open this, but I'll crack mine open and show you what they look like. So that's it for the fire pack and that's the final item in our giveaway this is a resealable bag if you want to take the whole thing on trail it comes with six there you can see how those look um, so this is actually right here this is the size of the fire cubes and people say when you cut them they feel a little greasy so just be aware of that and it comes with also with uh, this sparker safety instruction sheet that tells you how to build a fire for a lean-to to give you heat. It actually tells you how to build a little TP fire. Just a couple of basic emergency preparedness instructions. And this little thing, people have said that it's not so good. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, I think it puts off a good spark. And a spark every time. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. It says you can burn one cube for 10 to 12 minutes of sustained 1300 degree flames or cut them into eight pieces, each burning two to three minutes in any conditions. Um, I've heard people say that it's not good to cut them any more than half, cut them in half, and people say that they are greasy feeling, so keep that in mind. These are wind and waterproof, so even in heavy wind or heavy rain, they still burn. They are non-toxic, smokeless, and odorless, so you can use them for cooking food on. 
and it says you can use them as a fuel tab for a lightweight backpacking stove. I'm a little bit peeved at Fat Bear right now because he threw a bunch of junk wood in my fire pit, but I wanted to crack one of these open and have a look-see. So I guess I'm burning his junk wood in my fire. Then I'll have to clean it out after I'm done. Okay, I don't really want to touch this, but I'm going to anyway. Here's the little cube. You can see the size of it there, as opposed to the size of my thumbnail. It's a pretty good size. It's, it doesn't feel necessarily greasy to me. And I'm just going to set it in here. No, it doesn't. I mean, I feel a little bit of residue, but not like everybody was saying. Maybe when you cut it, it's worse. I'm not sure. And then I'm going to use the sparker that came along with it. And we're going to see how this works. I'm excited. I've never used this before. Oh, <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Okay, maybe I gotta get the side that's sticking out. Let's try that. <laughs> I'm just basically pushing it around. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm breaking my fingernail off. This is why everybody's saying that the sparker is junk. Let's pick it up and try. So this is not actually lighting with just me using the sparker. That's why it's a good re reason for me to put the pack of Bix in, <laughs> in this fire packet. Now you can have something that will actually light it. Let me go get one of them. Let's try the Bic. There it is, very easy to light. Oh my goodness, what a flame. <laughs> That is very cool. Sorry, I'm, I know, I'm excited. That is, wow. And this is said to burn for 10 to 12 minutes straight. Wow, that's a heck of a burn. That's exciting. So I'm definitely sold on these little cubes. I'm gonna put them in my backpack. They're definitely going with me on the trail. I don't build very many fires, but that's just too good to pass up. <laughs> I hope whoever wins these loves them as much as I'm loving them right now. The sparker that comes with these, I think, is not worth carrying. I won't be carrying it. So I'm personally just going to take a back along and leave that here at home. I don't want to get too close but it kind of starts to look like a burnt marshmallow after it burns for about two minutes. So this is the Pascook Fire Bellows. Like I said, it's got the carabiner at the top, which I like because then you can just clip it to your backpack and go. It's also fluorescent orange. It's like this. And then this. Okay, so this comes with two fire bellows, the small and the medium. And DC is going to show us how to use it. Now, since we aren't going to build a fire tonight, she's just going to telescope this out. I think. Yeah, just like that. And then I'm going to hold Tina. Hi, Tina. Tina is going to demonstrate with her hair. <laughs> so, like, like, so, hi. It's like this, and then... Yep, you put the big end in your mouth, and then you put the small end where you want to blow. So pretend that Tina's hair is the fire. 
What I didn't know is that you can attach this to make one long pocket fire bellow. I just assumed that it was a small and a medium. <laughs> and then DC goes and connects them. Can you tell I've had a long day at work? <laughs> Like this, and yeah. Then they just go she like just that. connected the whole thing. So let's detach that, and you can show the small, the no, the smaller one. You already did the big one, and then yeah, but you gotta show. Yeah, it blows really easy. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you can either do it like I did, like this, <laughs> or you can connect the two together like DC just did, and mind blown. <laughs> there you have it. All entries must be in by November 19th, 2020 at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The winner for the fire pack will be announced in the video for Friday, November 20th, 2020. Please read the video description. To enter this giveaway, you must leave a comment on this video and be willing to email me with your name and address to send it to if you win it. Remember that this is a three-part giveaway series that I'm doing this week, and if you have previously won an item this week, you are automatically disqualified for this drawing. Alright, so this is the Peskuk set that I am putting in the giveaway. So, use it how you will. Say goodnight, Tina!